Hey, so I am playing synth parts with my guitar through the Roland JDXI, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's take a look. Um, it's not as easy as just plugging it right in and going with it. There's some things that you'll have to navigate on the menu, but overall there is a line input uh, on the back of the JDXI, it's line guitar. You'll plug that in from your guitar to there with a quarter inch cable. There is a switch on the back that says line or guitar, um, guitar's high Z. Uh, I've tried using the switch on guitar and it hasn't really given me the results I've wanted. So I keep it switched to the line input or on that switch there. The second thing you'll wanna do, um, if you don't already have auto note, there's a button here you'll select that because if you don't, you won't hear anything coming through at all. Um, so you want to have that selected. And then the next part would be to go into menu. And I'm going to have all this in the description too. So you don't have to keep rewinding this part of the video. So I'll have a breakdown in the description of what exactly you'll need to do. Um, so in menu, we'll select that. You'll see system is the first thing that pops up. We'll push enter. And then we'll use the cursor option to go to the right. And you'll see options for, let's see here. On general will be the first section. Go through all the options there. Key touch, keep going. Sound, keep going. Click, keep going. And then you'll come across input. On here, uh, you'll use the, the, the value buttons. And yours might already be set all the way down to zero dB. Um, I would crank it all the way up to 40 dB. And then let's go over the next section. Still under input, we'll use the cursor. You'll see mic select. I have it on attached. You'll see NSSW, I have that to on. NS threshold, I have that at 25. And then NS release at 80. Um, and then from there, you'll see MIDI. So we're done with that. You can push exit. And then from there, you should be good to go. And the way it works is similar to if you had a mic plugged in for your vocoder. Uh, so right now, I just have this on a, I'm gonna exit out of the menu fully. I just have this on a blank pattern in, a, in bank E, and I'm on digital synth one. And I think right now, I just have it set on the vocoder dial on those tones. So you can use it on any of the vocoder options, just like you would um, to do that. Or you can actually even go over to things like string pads, if you want to do something there. And results really vary. You'll notice. Especially when you change notes, it's not as clear cut as, as you would have on a keyboard. Uh, so on a guitar, be kind of mindful of maybe maybe not sliding into notes because you, you'll hear some kind of weird like since it's using auto note some weird auto tune going on trying to figure out where it's at so like on here it eases in really nice you can kind of hear in between notes what's cool too is you can also use the key hold option, just like you would on the keyboard. So if you push key hold, it's gonna sustain your notes until you hit the next note. Um, the guitar st stuff that you do, it will all be single notes. You won't be able to play chords. Uh, so anything you do on the guitar, keep that in mind. You won't be able to play like two notes at a time or anything like that. Um, it's all monophonic. So yeah, so that's an example of things going wrong with the guitar input. Um, something I came across that I really like is being on some, maybe something like the bass. I need to have my auto note on. You can have the arpeggiator on with the key hold. You can actually kind of get some really um, interesting ideas coming out of that where you're just hitting one note on the guitar. So I was kind of messing around with this idea, maybe something on drums like this, 
just a standard <coughs> four to the floor kind of thing. So I've got that bass sound. I'm on digital digital two. And let's change it to a bass. And let's make my key hold on and the arpeggiator on. And for fun, let's do like a nice string pad sound with the key hold on. Something like. So I'm gonna leave that going. And I have my bass ready with the key hold and the arpeggiator. And I'm gonna put it an octave down too. And I'm doing all this, I'm doing the bass part through the guitar. Just hitting the hitting some notes. So yeah, that's to give you an idea of what you can do um, with your guitar through the JDXI. I don't really use it too often, but I think it's a cool trick if you ever want to do it uh, for any performance purposes or just want to try something different. So if that was helpful, uh, let me know in the comments. If you have any other questions, if I didn't explain something, let me know that too in a nice way. And if you knew what some of the uh, tunes were, in the earlier parts of the video, feel free to drop down your cool references so you know what I was uh, referencing. Cool, thanks. I'm Joey, also known as Ghostus. I've got music on the channel as well. Feel free to check that out. All of it's done through the JDXI and with the guitar. Thanks.